naturalistic decision making. If you've never heard of it, it is an approach to the study of decision making that, as the name implies, is all about studying decisions in natural environments. It's the study of decisions under real world conditions. And this is very different than most approaches to the study of decision making that use rational or economic models. So you might have heard of expected utility or prospect theory or a game theory. Well, all of these methods to study decision making typically use these artificial conditions in controlled settings, and they're looking at microcognition. Uh, this is much different than naturalistic decision making, which focuses on macrocognition. And when you use one approach versus the other with naturalistic decision making, you're typically including within the decision process uh, vague goals, time stress, it's high stakes, uh, there can be shifting goals, and a lot of times the correct or optimal decision is not known up front. Uh, this is very, once again, very different than the economic models, which th they decide what the normative or optimal decision is before they conduct the experiment, and then anybody who deviates from that uh, correct answer, it's considered to be decision error. So uh, why this is important is because you have this, this, this gap, what I like to call the NDM paradox, that the economic models are showing a lot of um, human limitations, whereas when we actually go out and we investigate real decisions in real world conditions, we discover human capabilities. We see that through experience that uh, people gain insights and they're able to make uh, really remarkable decisions under less than ideal circumstances.